When we started designing the space, we really wanted to do it with the intention of creating a space that wasn't just used for entertaining, but also that they would use just the two of them for having a coffee in the morning or after dinner, just going to relax. The home is a custom build, so we had a clean slate when they purchased it. The space is a traditional, formal living and dining room, but it's open concept in that the two spaces are very open to each other and to the entrance. So you have large doorways, tall ceilings, a large window at the front, the fireplace, and then the builder had put in a drop ceiling over the dining area, which really helped to define that area of the space. An architectural feature like the dropped ceiling meant with its orientation being rectangular, we also had to follow with a rectangular dining table, but that was fine. These homeowners love to entertain large groups, so we needed a table that was able to be extended and add leaves to it, so it all worked out perfectly. One of the common misconceptions is that it can be difficult to mix metals within the same room. This is a good example of a chrome chandelier and brass chairs working very well together. I found these beautiful dining chairs at Cocoon and they worked perfectly. It's in a beautiful burnished brass finish and we counter the solid dining table and the upholstered chairs with a lighter chandelier and this helps to open up the space and the translucent quality helps the eye just continue to wander through the room. We didn't use an area rug under the dining table because we were able to create enough contrast with light upholstered dining chairs to differentiate between the dark hardwood floor and the dark table. The other thing that we did to keep the sight line clear was rather than a traditional sideboard or china cabinet, we found this beautiful etagere and it's a lovely way to display some of the collections that my clients have acquired over the years and because they didn't need a whole lot of storage, this really helped to use the vertical space. My client actually came to me with an inspiration picture that was a round furniture arrangement and so I was thrilled that we were able to do this four chair round coffee table arrangement as opposed to the traditional sofa and two chairs that you would normally see around a fireplace in a home like this. One of the things that we really had to look for when we were looking for chairs for this setup was that they had enough weight. You don't want small pieces that are just going to appear to float in the space. So we found these fantastic armchairs that are swivel. And what that means is they don't have a leggy base. They just go right to the floor and that helps to give them more presence in the space. And it also adds the function that they swivel for easy conversation. And my client even said that when people are at the dining table after dinner, people can move over to the living room and it's still continues the flow of the room, which is fantastic. My client is actually quite minimalist in a way. Um, she's very organized and tidy, and she didn't have a lot of pieces that she wanted displayed. One of my favorite ways to fill in an empty corner and also celebrate a beautiful piece, like a sculpture or a lovely vase, is to add a plinth, and it just gives a gallery feeling where something is raised, it's celebrated on its own, and it's very simple to make. My husband actually made this for me before the shoot, <laughs> and I was busy painting, and it's the perfect way to display a beautiful Rena Minardi vase. I really do think that the best designs are ones that are curated slowly over time. Floor plans are wonderful, and coming up with that initial design concept is a really important part in creating a beautiful space but I find that the best designs come from that editing process, trying things, bringing in the accessories, and really starting to warm up the space. That's when a room comes to life.